Good morning guys and welcome back to the family fudge. It is that time again. That's right, I have the whole family with me and we're headed to Costco, so come along with us. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So right now it is early Saturday morning, but by the time you're watching this video, it'll probably be the following Friday. So hello from the future. So we're actually gonna pick up several things today for going out of town, which the kids don't know about. It's almost Jackson's birthday, and for each of the kids' birthday, we're taking them on a mini trip that they don't know about. So we have some things to pick up for that. I have some household items I need as well. So I'll probably end up going to Walmart and to Trader Joe's as well. So come along with us today. I'll show you anything that's fun, new, or interesting. And then when we get back, I will show you everything that we picked up. Now usually I try to avoid going to Costco on Saturdays, but if I have to go, I like to go right when they first open. So they opened three minutes ago. We're not quite there yet, but we're on our way. And I also need to do some returns at Walmart, which I'm not really looking forward to doing, but I bought these jeans for Jackson and they're too small, so I need to return those. And then I'm also gonna be returning this guy. Now he's really cute and he wasn't very expensive, but after I bought this one, I actually found a Mickey Mouse one, which I liked better. So I'm gonna return this and keep the Mickey instead. Okay, so we just made it to Costco, and I figured out my Walmart list, but I did not figure out my Costco list. So we're gonna have to go in there and sort of wing it. Are you ready? Yep. Do you know what we need? Kind of. I kind of know, so <laughs> let, well, let's go before it gets really crowded. Burr, it is freezing out here. Are you guys cold? Yeah. yeah. We better hurry up, but before we go in, what do we have to say? No screaming, no, no crying, no running away, no, no stealing things. things. That's right, everybody be good. And I have to show you guys real quick, both Lily and Mackenzie got new haircuts hey. yesterday. Don't they look like cute little girls? <laughs> Let's go. Mommy's gonna sit inside. Yeah, you sit inside. <laughs> These are only $9.99. Now I actually bought one of these last year and they are so soft. This would make a perfect gift. They have this one, and then this one, a gray one, a blue one, and this sort of purpley one. So nice. Now they've only been open for about 45 minutes and it's pretty crowded already. So it's almost Jackson's birthday. How old are you gonna be? Six. You're gonna be six years old? Uh oh, daddy's leaving. Follow him. He's leaving. He's leaving. Now one thing we definitely don't need today are toys. I actually purchased all of the Christmas gifts already, so we don't need any of these toys. Are you excited for Christmas? Yeah. Is this a cool toy? Yeah, it's for American Girl Dolls. Yeah. Now her birthday is actually just a couple of weeks after Christmas, so we might have to pick up a few things around that time, but this is nice. It's a school desk. Yeah. That school desk is $70, which is kind of expensive because it doesn't even come with the doll. But I guess that's how it goes with American Girl stuff, right? Check out these really fun blankets. These are actually a mermaid tail, just like that. And there's this color. There's also a pink one. This one actually has the sequins on there, like that. There's also a dragon tail. Ooh, Jackson, do you like this one? Mm -hmm. There's also a shark one and a blue one. Very nice. And these are actually only $11.99, so not too bad. Jackson, can you show us your shirt? Yeah. What does it say? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, and it has a little pizza tree. That is so fun. Now, every time he wears this little vest, though, I tell him that he looks like Marty McFly from Back to the Future, and you don't even know who that is, do you? No, I do not know who that is. No, I know you want to stay and look at books, but we really gotta go. Okay. So come on. 
Come on, here's something new I've never seen before. This is a caramel pecan topped cheesecake. This is definitely not something that we need today, but it's cool and new, so I thought I would show you. Does that look good? Do you want this for your birthday? You don't know? So these guys just got a cream puff for a sample. Is it good, Griffin? Try it. Try, try it, is it good? I think they're a little bit frozen still. No, is it cold? Say brr. Do you think it's good, Lily? Yeah? It's good. <laughs> Griffin's not sure. He says, here brother, you have it. Check out this really good deal, you guys. You get six of these EOS lip balms for only $9.99. That comes out to about $1.60 each, which is way cheaper than Walmart. Okay, so we just finished up that Costco, and how much did we end up spending there? Uh, I think it was 198 Ouch, 198 But we still need to go to Walmart for a few things, and I think we're going to divide and conquer, right? Yes. So can you do the returns? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll go find what we need, and then we'll be heading home. Actually, I need to go to Trader Joe's as well, but I'll probably just show you the haul when we get back, because it's really hard to film in Trader Joe's. In fact, I've heard that they've actually kicked some people out for filming, and I don't want that to happen to me, so let's just go to Walmart. Okay, friends, so we're in Walmart right now, and I wasn't gonna film, but I had to show you these really awesome new cups from the Pioneer Woman, because I haven't seen these before, but look how beautiful these tumblers are. They come in several different colors. We have silver, a blue, a burgundy, and we also have these water bottles. Look how pretty those are. And these are about $12 each. Yeah, $11.76. Those are so nice. Look at this one. I didn't know she made these. Okay guys, so who's ready to see what we picked up? Now we did end up leaving the house this morning just after breakfast, and right now it's after two, so it was kind of a long day of shopping, but we had a lot of things to pick up for the week and for our upcoming trip. We ended up going to Costco and to Walmart and to Trader Joe's, and I also got one thing from Michael's, which I will show you last. Now Mackenzie really wanted to help on today's video, but since some of these things are for our secret trip, she had to sit this one out. And I do want you guys to keep in mind that this doesn't represent our entire diet for the week or anything like that. These are just what we needed for this haul. We do like to buy our meat in bulk from Zacon Fresh and we just keep it in the freezer. So there's not a whole lot of meat here because we already have that. And we do get some fruits and vegetables locally, so we don't have all of those on the table either. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco first, and I'll work my way this way. Starting back here, we picked up some coconut cashew butter granola. This is really excellent, and we've bought this several times. My husband loves it, and I really like to sprinkle it on some yogurt. We also picked up some Jimmy Dean Delights and some Go-Gurt Simples. These are the ones with less sugar. My kids like those and they're on sale right now. We also picked up some Uncrustables. These are for our upcoming trip. These are just so easy and convenient when you're traveling. And my kids, they like the grape flavor. Over here, I picked up some almond milk. I go through about one of these every two weeks or so. And then we also picked up some regular cow's milk for the kids. Now they're not using so much milk these days, so this will probably last quite a while. I'm actually gonna put this one in the freezer. And yes, you can totally freeze milk. I do it all the time, no big deal. Now this guy, my husband said, hey, do you wanna get eggnog? And I said, no, we probably shouldn't because you know it's really bad for you. But guess what, guys? He put it in the cart anyway. So I'm gonna try my best to resist this because I like it, but it's not healthy for me. Over here I have some yummy crunchy snacks. These are the organic brown rice rollers. So this is lightly sweetened and it's very crunchy. The kids like to snack on these. We also picked up a package of the five cheese tortelloni. You know, I do like to freeze one whole package and then we serve the other one with the basil pesto. Now recently I tried the basil pesto from Sam's Club and I have to say the Costco stuff is way, way better. We love this stuff, it is so good. I also picked up some ranch seasoning and some taco seasoning. And then this is new to try. This is the Better Than Bouillon Beef Base. This is organic 
and it's reduced sodium as well. Now we've tried the chicken version and we've tried the vegetable version and they're both really good. So I'm excited to give the beef version a try. Over here we have a four pack of these Santa Fe style salads. Now we buy these pretty much every time we travel. There's four in here and so my husband will have two and I will have two. And this is just, you know, lettuce and chicken. There's cheese and corn and like a salsa ranch. These are really good and an affordable way to um, eat when you're on vacation or on a trip. Next to that, I picked up this fresh fruit bowl. Now these are kind of pricey, but it's nice to have when you're traveling because it has so many different kinds of fruit in there and it's ready to go, washed and cut and everything. So we have some cantaloupe, some pineapple, honeydew melon, and strawberries. We also picked up a package of bananas. I meant to pick up the organic ones, but looks like I got regular, that's okay. I also picked up some cooking spray. Normally I get the coconut oil version, but they were out of that. And I know I need this for some holiday baking, so I got this. Over here we picked up some of this reduced sodium salami. Now I have to tell you guys, I'm not a super big fan of salami, but they were sampling this when we were at Costco and everybody else in the family liked it. So we picked up this double pack. That will last a long time. And you can actually freeze one of these packages too. We do that sometimes. Now back over here, we picked up some eggs. Sadly, I have to tell you, we no longer have our own chickens. They were getting old and we just didn't get any new ones. Now we are buying eggs. Over here, we got a big thing of cottage cheese. And for our trip, we picked up some hazelnut chocolate filled French crepes. The kids love these. Unfortunately, they're kind of pricey when they're not on sale, but they're very portable because they're individually wrapped. So yeah, we really like those. For my husband, I picked up some steak strips. These are very thick cut beef turkey strips. They like those. I think I'm the only person in the family that's not crazy about these. And lastly from Costco, we picked up a package of AA batteries, which were outrageously expensive, but you know, gotta have batteries, what you gonna do? Moving on to the things from Walmart, we were able to make our returns, no problem. And we got Jackson a new pair of jeans that will hopefully fit him this time. I'll go ahead and start back here. We have a, let's see. This is a variety pack of individual Pringles. So these are little Pringle cups with just a few chips in there. And we have the sour cream and onion, the cheddar cheese, and the original flavor. These are really nice for traveling because they're in this little cup and they don't get crushed. Now these are also perfect for traveling as well. You can throw them in lunches. These are the Appleberry Go-Go Squeeze pouches. And I also picked up some yogurt. This is the Activia yogurt with fiber. And we have some in the strawberry flavor and the pineapple flavor. And then this would be my yogurt of choice. This is the Nusa strawberry rhubarb. And I like these ones because they're smaller. The regular Nusa ones are really big, so I like the smaller size. We also got some whole wheat Ritz crackers for some homemade Lunchables this week. And then something I don't normally buy, this is for an upcoming recipe that I'm hoping to share with you. This is the Jimmy Dean um, spicy sausage. And this is to go with this jalapeno cream cheese. So stay tuned for that recipe. I also picked up a package of turkey pepperoni. I think I buy one of these just about every week or so. The kids love them. And we love to make our own pizzas as well. Also for the trip, I picked up a package of these baby wipes. This is a really good size for the amount of days that we're going to be gone. Now also from Walmart, I picked up the roasted garlic hummus for us to take with us. I also have two bottles of kombucha, and these are both in the Trilogy flavor, which is my favorite. This is kind of like a mix of berry and ginger flavors. And then we have all of these drinks. Let's see, we have two different Red Bulls. This one is the Kiwi Apple, and this one is the Tropical Flavor. We will be leaving our house around midnight and driving through the night, so we might need those. Um, we also picked up these Kickstarts. This is like a coconut water energy drink. This is the Raspberry Citrus. We have the Pineapple Orange Mango, and the blueberry pomegranate. So I prefer these, my husband prefers those, and of course these we both like. We also picked up some breakfast to take along with us. 
These are the Jimmy Dean Delight Croissant Breakfast Sandwiches. Now, I actually really like these ones, the English muffin version, but the kids, they prefer these ones. And these are actually turkey sausage, they're not too bad for you. So the kids like those. And for my husband who's gluten free, I picked up this one. This is the chorizo and egg breakfast bowl. So he really likes that, it's nice and spicy. Now hiding back here, I have some veggie sticks that we also got from Walmart. And these are in the sour cream and onion flavor. These are really tasty, a nice crunchy snack. And then I have a few things over here. We picked up some of this string cheese. This is the uh, Chuck E. Cheese brand string cheese, which the kids really like. And as you can see, we got into it on the drive home. I also picked up some marshmallows, some pecans, and some sweetened condensed milk. And this is to go into a Christmas fudge recipe that I'm hoping to share with you guys. Let's see, it'll be the day after this video comes out, so stay tuned for that. Oh, this haul just keeps going and going. From Walmart, I also picked up some of these foodles and we have apples in there and cheddar cheese chunks and some grapes. So we got three of those. And then I got a loaf of bread for some lunches. And then I got all of these things. These are sort of mommy's things. So first I have a pack of gum because of where we're going, they do not sell gum at all. I picked up this compact of eyeshadow because I didn't want to bring all of my makeup. And I thought that this was a really good selection of colors that I like. So I'll just bring this. I also got a pack of bobby pins and a waterproof eyeliner and a brow pencil in the taupe color. Now for my hair, I also picked up some hairspray. As you can probably tell, I go through a lot of hairspray. So this is the Tresemme number five and I got a spare one as well because I really dislike running out of hairspray. And then for my boys, I picked up some hair gel. Now that is everything from Walmart. So now I can go ahead and show you what I got from Trader Joe's. Starting with these guys. These are chocolate coins, so let me show you what these are for. Okay guys, I had to move some things over a bit to make room for the advent calendar because these chocolate coins are gonna go in here. Now we've already made it through a few days on the advent calendar already, but basically the kids get to open one drawer every day. Now I did find this on Amazon, but unfortunately I don't think this specific one is still available, but you can probably find something similar or you could make your own. But basically every day there's a little drawer with a treat inside and not all of the drawers have a treat. I do have some drawers that have like a, a slip of paper instead. So on this day, we're going to be having PJ day. So it's not all about the candy and the treats. Um, and I did find these printable slips on adapinch.com if you're curious. You can print these out for free. So that was really cool. So I hope I explained that advent calendar well enough, but basically that's what these chocolate coins are for. Now from Trader Joe's, I also picked up the Mandarin Orange Chicken. This is definitely a Trader Joe's favorite. I also got some really awesome apples. These yellow apples are called opal apples and they are delicious. And I also picked up Lily's favorite, which are these organic pears. And then back here, I got a jar of sugar plum jam. I think this is new to Trader Joe's this year. It's a, sort of a Christmas treat. So I'm excited to give that a try. I also picked up a jar of cumin. And then back here, I have a lot of boxes and drinks. So I'll go ahead and start with these guys. These are cheesy trees. So kind of like a goldfish cracker, but in a Christmas tree shape. So these will definitely go in some fun kid lunches. Back here, I got a package of the, oops, upside down, a package of the Candy Cane JoJo's, and these are the gluten-free ones, so my husband can have them as well. To tell you the truth, I think the regular ones taste better than the gluten-free ones, but if you're gluten-free, these are pretty good. Over here, I picked up a box of the organic mini cheese crackers. All the kids like those. Now from Trader Joe's, I also picked up a lip treatment duo kit, which I think is new and it looks really interesting. Basically, this one is a sugar scrub for your lips, and then this one is a moisturizer with sunscreen. So I'm excited to give this a try. We also picked up a box of cereal bars. Now these ones are actually the cranberry flavor, which I believe is seasonal. So we've never tried these before, but I like cranberry, so I think they're gonna be good. I also picked up some seasonal cereal, which is really hard for me to say. These are the Hot Cocoa O's. 
These are made of oats and corn and chocolate, and there's little tiny freeze-dried marshmallows in there. So I think the kids are going to like those. And then I'm pretty excited to give these to the kids. These are definitely going to be a fun Christmas time activity. These are winter chocolate reindeer and sled kits. So as you can see here, let me turn it around for you. I, want to, I don't want to drop those because they might break, but these are basically sheets of chocolate like this that the kids can assemble, similar to a gingerbread house, but these are made out of chocolate. So I thought that would be really fun. These were $1.99 each, so the three oldest kids will hopefully have a good time building these. Now I also picked up several drinks at Trader Joe's. This one is the organic Concord grape juice, and this is the unsweetened one. And I like to mix this with my sparkling water. This one is the grapefruit flavor. This one is cranberry and clementine. And then this one is new, I've never tried this one. This is green apple. And finally, I also picked up some winter snowflake pasta. You can see the cute little snowflake design on there. And then I also got the organic corn chip dippers. These are excellent with some salsa, some hummus, or some guacamole. Just kidding, I actually have two more items I almost forgot about. For my husband, I picked up this whole milk kefir in the mango flavor, and then I picked up another bottle of kombucha, basically because I wanted to try this flavor. This is the cranberry spiced apple kombucha, and I actually tried some of this on the way home, and it's just okay. I prefer my regular Trilogy kombucha over this, but it's not bad, and it's not gonna go to waste. Okay friends, if you like today's haul, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.